Uh, welcome back, everybody. 11 o'clock. So, uh, holy cow, thank you for turning in homework. Kept me up, going through and taking a look at it. Uh, it's actually sort of grading. <laughs> and uh, uh, how many people show hands like, oh, that's great. The homework's totally helping reinforce and helping give you a solid grasp of Go. Cool. How many people just like wrote like power through it already and all this stuff? Nice work, Jenny. I liked your homework. Um, I'm pretty easy grader. Like if it looks like you put in effort and you tried, cool. I don't necessarily read. I kind of spot grade. I open your document and just sort of like, uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Skim your answers. And, uh, and so, you know, that's, that's that. Um, Go is opinionated, so workspaces aren't personal. And uh, they de Go definitely has, like, you should set up your workspace in this one particular way. And uh, I think I've told you about the Golang newsletter, but this article just came in today, Golang newsletter. And it's best practices for a new Go developer here in the newsletter. So let me just read this on the web to show you the URL. But it's Golang Weekly. Did I start recording? Okay, I did. Golang Weekly, right, dot com. And uh, best practices for a new Go developer. And uh, the top thing there, just ironically, was uh, new Go programmers tend to trip up on the build environment and package model. That's why I stress on how to write Go code. It can be deceptively simple once you understand how it works. It's just awesome. So the package model, a uh, part of that is your, your file structure. Uh, when you are uh, submitting your homework, uh, make sure that, um, like, you know, here's, here's a document. Let's say you want to send that to me. Make sure you click share up here in the top right. And and then you can click this get shareable link right here and it'll give you this and you could say anybody can view who has this and just copy that and then done. And then when you go in to submit an assignment in uh, Blackboard, so let's say I'm submitting for this one right here, right? <clears throat> let's see. Is there some way to show the tools? How are some people putting links in there, right? So there's a link. Who did that? Right submission, thank you. So here is my work, or whatever you want to call it, or like, you know, put in a line from a poem, or I don't care, like, make it interesting. Maybe what's your favorite band, Fleetwood Mac? Max. And, you know, whatever. So anyhow, there, put in your link, and then just put the link, and put open in new, new window blank. And so that's an attribute with the anchor tag to pop it open in a new window and then insert that. And then I'll be able just to click that. So that just helps me kind of bring your work up more quickly. Otherwise, i got to like highlight your link, right click it, search Google for it. And like those three other steps multiplied by 150 or 200 suck. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And, uh, and then what else? Uh, that's it. Sharing, sending your homework in. All right, so we left off on 1456, and uh, I've got a bunch of new presentations up, so 14 through 21, and that pretty much takes us through the fundamentals. I, I was thinking we were in week three, but this is only week two, right? Yeah. That's nice. I think we're doing really great for, for week two. Um, so we, we left off talking about assertion. Who could tell me the difference? Who could tell me uh, assertion versus conversion? And what's conversion called generally in other languages? Hmm? Casting. casting, yeah. So uh, conversion is goes casting, and uh, the difference between uh, conversion and, and casting is convert or conversion and insertion. Conversion is like your normal casting. Hey, I got a float. I need to make it an int. I got a slice of bytes. I need to make it a string, right? And we're we're gonna use conversion on that. Assertion is for interfaces, and so uh, we have an interface, and interfaces can be applied, you know, to different types. And so I could have a, a type, you know, string, which implements an interface. And, uh, and then, you know, or I could have a custom type, and the underlying type is string. And then I can assert, hey, this is a string. So let's, let's take a look at that. So conversion is changing one type to another. Assertion is used for interfaces. And that, that, that's my wording. I'm not sure if that's uh, uh, actually accurate, that you, in, a, in conversion, you change one type to another. Where's Daniel when I need him? <laughs> Anybody know? If conversion actually changes, 
Awesome. On cue. I just said, where's Daniel when you need him? So my question was, uh, does conversion actually change one type to another? So if I have like a float 64 and I convert that to int, is that now an int or is it just like a temporary? It makes a copy. It makes a copy, okay. So, or is the assertion actually uh, reads it as if it is the assertion to me? I don't know how you know that stuff, man. You just read the docs like once and that all just stuck? Kind of. I think, I think uh, Caleb mentioned it once too. That's awesome. See, that's he's got 32 gigabytes. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll get we'll learn more about interfaces, and as you gain exposure to them, you will gain understanding. So we already saw this, and uh, this is just like a switch to allow us to sort of you know switch on type, and uh, and this is a, a, a type interface right there. Let me just make this bigger. Present. Yeah, that's type type uh, interface right there, and we're saying, hey, any type can can fit into that, and uh, so we're asserting that right this is of uh, some type. You know, that's not the clearest example, but this is about where we left off. We were looking at this documentation for an expression x of interface type and a type t. The primary expression x dot t asserts that x is not nil and that the value stored in x is of type t, the notation x dot t is called a type assertion. So the main thing to take away from this, and you can look through it, we already kind of went through it a little bit, the main thing to take away is assertions are for interface types. And it's kind of interesting, and if anybody wants to comment on this, Shin, Daniel, Aaron, uh, Eunice, uh, you know, but please jump in, but it's kind of interesting to me that Go is statically typed, like that's how the language is defined, but then with interfaces we could kind of do this dynamic type thing. I don't know. Anybody got any comments on that? Yeah, all right. Just interesting. Um, and then there's this uh, comma OK idiom that we see a lot. So string OK, right, is equal to value dot string. So we're asserting value as a string. And if OK, you know, right, then we could do one thing and otherwise do another thing. And it's uh, returning, the assertion is returning two returns, has two returns. I kind of missed last semester. There's a little bit more time. But it's kind of good in a way, not having as much time because it's making me stay on point. But I kind of miss not being able just to like talk philosophy a little bit. <laughs> you got to know how to fail. <laughs> that was one of my thoughts coming in. Like seriously, like allow yourself to fail and fail a lot and take risks where, you know what, I might totally fail. That's great. I was in Jamba Juice the other day, and on the wall it said, go out on a limb, that's where the fruit is. I was like, that's really cool. <laughs> I took a picture of it. I was like, that's great. It's a corporatism, but, dude, that's awesome. Uh, so here, what's going on with this code? Uh, name is not of type interface, and so when I try to assert that, like when I say, hey, name is a string, it's like, you can't do that, it's not interface type. So assertions are for interface types. And here I uh, make a uh, name an interface type, so interface is actually a type. And, uh, and then when I try to assert, it does. So how many people, when I say interface, you're like, I just don't know what the hell that means. This game's called The Truth Will Save You. If you raise your hand, I won't call on you. Okay, so you don't know what an interface is, put your hand up. I won't call on you. All right, cool. That's good. A lot of people got a grasp on it. It'll become more clear. And for those two who put their hand up, uh, swing by or stop by or hang out after class and we can talk about it more. So here uh, we're saying interface, right, seven, and we're asserting it's a string. It's like, no, value is not a string, right? Name is not, or seven is not a string. That's an it. Uh, what will happen when I uncomment line eight and run, run this? So seven, interface, and then I print the type. Right, and I can see the type there. What happens when I uncomment that and run that? Anybody? Daniel? What's going to happen? Okay, we're trying that. I would guess 13. I guess it would actually print it out, though. All right, all people say 13. All people say... <laughs> all people say nothing. <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to crash because Go is like so, you know, 
uh, I want to say deterministic, but I don't think that's the right word, goes so like, uh, you know, uh, doggedly nitpicky about types, right? Yeah, that it's going to be like, no, I'm, you're trying to add an interface and a type, and dang it, you got to assert that, right? So let's see if I have the answer. Mismatch types, interface, and in, right? And so if I do this, you know, the Star Spangled Banner plays. Glory, glory, hallelujah, everything worked. Hey, Lori. Hi, I'm so sorry I'm late. It's cool. It's I no big deal. I I could not park. I know. It's frustrating. Luckily, I have a, my dad used to teach here, so he gets like the retiree pass. <laughs> it's free, and I get a park faculty. It's awesome. Nice. Anybody want my pass? I don't know if I can say that. You know, because I could buy a faculty pass, and I haven't for me. Anybody want mine? I don't know. Look into it. If you do, I'll, I'll, I'll make you a good offer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll sell it to you for my price. I think I could probably get in trouble for that, but. If nobody talks, that's right. If they do talk, they sleep with the fish. Are you recording this? Hmm? <laughs> I know, that's the bad thing about recording. <laughs> you can always edit it. So this is just a reminder for casting. So just comparing casting. And this isn't an interface type, this is a float type. And so we're casting it to an int. Right, we can see, oh, here it's a float. And here it's an int, and now, you know, because I cast that float to an int. And so that's that's casting or conversion. Dang it, I used the wrong word. Should say conversion there. And then here was uh, here was assertion. I'm asserting. So that's assertion. That's casting. Where did casting go? Casting. How the hell did I lose that? Val, that's assertion. There's casting. And uh, can we cast type interface? So, wow, let's look at, oh, my mouse is bumpy. Uh, float, and then float, and then cast it to uh, int, or conversion to int, and then interface and val, and can I use conversion, aka casting, on an interface? Cannot convert val interface of type int, need assertion. All right, so interfaces need assertion and, you know, conversion casting. So basically, there's these two things, right? There's a syntax that's a little bit different for each one. And, uh, you know, when you need to convert a value, you just say, hey, is this an interface? And if it is, you're going to use what? With an interface you use, Assertion and with everything else, conversion. Math package. So here's the math package. What you kind of expect to see in math: a lot of cosine, sine, and tangent, and things I don't remember <laughs> from whatever high school. It's like, what the hell does that do again? And uh, and we talked about this at boot camp. Was like rounding. Like if you look in here, I don't think you find a rounding. And so to, to do round, it's, it's like floor or ceiling. And rounding here, right, is uh, you add 0.5. So if I'm at 34.7, that goes up to 35.2, and I take the floor, and it rounds to the right, to the right one, right? 35, it rounded to 35. If I'm here, and I go up 0.5, it goes 34.9, and then I take the floor, and that's right. It went down to 34, right? So that's rounding. How you do rounding? So you have an exercise with rounding, and then reading docs, an exercise uh, just for us to do right here. How would you learn a type of, right? So we, we saw that there's a couple of ways we could do type, find out something's type. Percent %t is one of them, and using print f and the formatting verb percent capital %t. And then the, I guess that's a backslash n, is a new line character, right? That's an escape sequence. So how would we have learned about, you know, finding... Uh, a variable's type if we hadn't known that yet. And, uh, and so here's type of an action. Type of will also show us the type. And so for me, it was like Golang determine type. Just Google that and what comes up. And if I look at that, right, I could start to see some of the stuff, including the reflect package, right, and type. Uh, and so I could start to just look. So, you know, I'm just kind of showing, hey, how do you find answers? Obviously, Google, right? But then when I, when I see that there's this thing, Golang type of, where did I see that? I don't know. It's somewhere in there. 
and then I could go to the reflect package once I see that and, and, and bring that up. And package reflect, I could read about it. Uh, implements runtime reflection, allowing a program to manipulate objects of, with arbitrary types. Typical use is to make a value with a static type interface and, it, and extract its dynamic type information by calling type of, which returns the type. See, I just think that's interesting, again, that Go is, you know, statically typed, but then you can do this dynamic stuff with interfaces. So by default, statically, if you know what you're doing, yeah, you know, let things become more flexible. And then type of returns reflection type of the value in the interface. Type of nil returns nil. So again, we see this interface thing here. Like, huh? So if we don't know what interfaces are, it's kind of like, what? What is that? We're, we're going to learn more about that. Hopefully, we'll get that far. Would go help help me learn about type of? How many people say yes? Go help would help you learn about type of. How many people say no? How many people say I don't know? How many people need your coffee? No. So go helps just for commands, right? And there's the list of commands: build, clean, environment, fix. And go helps also for topics, right? So there are the topics: C, file path, go path, packages, that kind of stuff. Go doc at the terminal can bring up documentation for a reflect package. How many people say yes? How many people say no? How many people say, I need coffee? So there's a go doc reflect. It's case sensitive, right? So if I try to bring up type of lowercase, sorry. But if I uh, make it type of, here it is. So it's the documentation that's always with you. You don't need to be online. Remember this syntax, go doc, package name, package, and then name. So that's the syntax, right? So I could do just go doc reflect, or I could do go doc reflect type of, and I could do go doc format print, printf, print line, and it'd bring up all three of those because it takes a variadic number of arguments. I'm not sure if variadic is right for arguments. I think I just created that the last couple of weeks. Maybe it is correct. I know variadic is the right word to use for parameters. So here's another example. Remember this one, same thing. That's what I just said. Go doc format print line. It's just showing you the syntax. So just a reminder, I shared this with you last semester, but if you uh, if you want to learn something, like you know, um, I learned this from my dog. The more you want something to stick, the more you need to roll around in it. <laughs> so it's kind of just what we're doing. So review, Boolean, numeric, string. We learned about signed and unsigned. Right, and uh, you know, generally you just say int or uint or float 64, and strings are double quotes or backticks. And we learned about escape sequences and sequence of bytes, and and uh, that strings are immutable in length. And index access, we can index a character in the string or slicing and concatenation, and string conversion package a to i and i to a. And I did learn. I was watching a video. By on Pluralsight yesterday, I watched their concurrency training. Pretty cool, and I got notes on that for y'all. And uh, yeah, it is ASCII to int. That's how the guy referred to it, and the guy seems really smart. So I was like, that must be what it is. Seems like he's been programming since he was 18 months old. So there's conversion uh, T X. When you see uh, T X T is a type. X is a variable, I guess. In that assertion, used for interfaces, math package, reflect package type of. You got some review questions. Anybody have questions? How many people that was a good twenty minutes? Well spent. How many people? And eh, not so much. All right.